Hey, Jacques, it's Wayne Garib here at Jacksonville. Hey, you had mentioned uh, working with this global cleaning company and wanting to get some more leads coming in. So I thought I'd take a look at it and see if there are some low hanging fruit that might accomplish that. And uh, I see quite a bit. So I figured I'd put this together just to give you a little taste of uh, what could be. Okay, so this is the site uh, that you were telling me about that you are going to want the leads to come in on. So what I do is a couple of things. First, I want to go and see who is the big player in that area. And when I say big player, I simply mean when somebody goes to Google and types in uh, this right here, carpet cleaning West Palm Beach, who pulls up on the first page. So if we scroll down the first page, we see this map pack, which I'll talk about in just a second. So let's look at the organic listings right here. This is an advertisement. We don't care about that. Look right here in spot number two, West Palm Carpet Cleaning. So they've got the number two spot on page one. So we know they're getting calls. So what we do from there then is now I want to compare what they are doing, which is this is their website here, to what your website is. So we got some analytics that we look at. So first of all, so let's let's compare apples to apples. The first thing we look at is content. There's three things I'm going to talk about. Content, backlinks and keywords, and then the Google My Business section. So content is the first thing that we look at. So if we look at this website, it's a good looking website. This right here is what we call content, obviously. She's got some content there. She talks about your services. And then that's all, okay? Google wants to see 1,000 to 1,500 words per page for content. They're looking to see who is the authority in this space. The more authority you have, the higher you get ranked. So let's take a look at your competitor here and just see if, how their content compares. A picture, they got a little bit of content right here. Got their services, some pictures, a little bit of more content, nothing crazy. They do have a little bit more content than the other sites. So that's one area that we can definitely outdo them and most others is because people get lazy. They just don't write a lot of content. So having more content inserted on your home page is going to be a huge, huge thing. And now just one thing, let's take a look at this real quick. What is the, what are these saved as? Marble polishing. Okay, that's good. You want to save these, all your pictures should be saved as uh, keywords so that Google can, spiders can track these things. All right, so content's the first thing I talked about. We need more content. Easily done. Now, we want to take a look at some analytics here. So let's go to, this is a third-party tool that we use, AREFs to identify what's going on. So you can see that I've already typed in West Palm Carpet Cleaning. That's the person that's in the number two spot. And we look at just a couple things here. I'm not gonna go through this whole thing. We look at their DR, that's their domain rating. That's a score of zero to 100 that Google attaches. The higher the number, the more powerful your site. They have a domain rating of two, quite low. Backlinks and referring domains, these are what we're, these, these are links that are on other websites that refer back to your website. All backlinks are not created equal. Uh, for instance, just because they say they have 42, they might not be 42 good ones. They might not be 42 strong ones. So there's more into that we can talk about. Organic keywords. These are the keywords. When you say a keyword, that's what someone types in. This is a keyword. Someone types in to find you. So let's take a look at global carpet care. Global Carpet Care's DR is a 0 0.3, so very, very much weaker than, than the other website. Even though that one was only a 2, this one's only a 0 0.3, so you get, the, you get the point. Your referring domains and your backlinks, you see 19 here. They had 40-some. You've got 19. <clears throat> we can add as many backlinks as it takes to get this site as powerful as we want it to be. It just takes time to do it. Now, we talk about organic keywords. These are the keywords that people search to find you or to find global care. So you can see the keywords that people, so global, and these are the keywords that are in this website. So when somebody types in the name of the company, obviously, you're going to come up. There it says there's 40 people a month searching that. Uh, marble floor polishing, 20 people a month searching that keyword. I don't see anything in here about carpet cleaning outside of the name being in it. And I think that's what's hurting you because you can see here, 
the, this, this position right here, for this keyword here, global carpet, it's on page three, page four, page four, page five. So you can see that's not even close to where we need to be. Let's go take a look at the competitor real quick. Let's go into their keywords. Let's find out why he's on page one and you're not. So that's their name. So they're going to rank for that. And right here, we got carpet cleaning, West Palm Beach FL, 90 people a month look for that term. Fleming carpet cleaning, 50 people a month. Carpet cleaning Palm Beach, 70. West Palm Beach carpet cleaning, 60. You get the picture. We need to have keywords put in your website. The same keywords that he's ranking for here, you need to be ranking for on your site. <clears throat> that way, when someone types these in, comes up to your site. So back to global. And there again, keywords are huge. I see that be the, that appears to be the biggest issue right now is, is the keyword selection uh, accompanied with the backlinks. So that's keywords. We need, we need better keywords and we need more of them so that people can find you. All right. Having said that, let's go back to Google My Business. We talked about the organic. This section right here on page one, when you type in carpet cleaning West Palm Beach, you get this, you get the ads obviously up, up top, which we don't care about. Then you get this Google My Business section where it lists usually three companies right up top. And then this section here where we found your competitor. This is the organic section. And this is the Google My Business section. 60 to 70% of the people choose who they're looking for from this three people right here. The other 40% will come and choose from the organic. So we want to be up here. So how do you get up here? It's not that difficult. Get up here. You need to put these bits of information into directories. Okay. There's over 300 different directories that you can have your information. When I say information, I mean your business name, your address, and your phone number to the letter it has to match exactly. But most of these people get lazy and they only put, put these into 10, 15, 20, maybe 30 directories. There's over 300 directories that they can get put into. So just imagine building up your keywords, build your content, put your company name into all 300 directories. Why mess around? Go all of them. Before long, you'll be in organic and you'll be in this map pack and your customer calls will increase dramatically. So anyway, I just want to leave that with you. There's some reasons that your site is where it's at. And there's a lot that we can do to make it a whole lot better. So hope this helped you out a little bit. Give me a call. Let's talk about it. I'd love to see what we can do and uh, boost some customer calls. Have a good one.